Here's your explanation for the part two of the final exam. So all work should come from chapters 10 through 23. I should not see references to the first nine chapters in this assignment. So the first part of the assignment, you're gonna consider the character and you're gonna write a short letter to any character in the book so far. You, you can criticize them or sympathize with them about something that has happened to them in chapters 10 through 23. You're going to write in the box below and you're going to use letter format and write 250, 200 to 350 words. Then choose a birthday gift you would give to that character and fill in the chart. So you need to answer who in the box below, add the name of the character who is receiving the gift, then give a, then the gift, find a picture online and copy and paste in the box below, then add a label explaining what it is. And then finally, explain in the, in the box, explain why this gift is an appropriate gift for the character, right in complete sentences. Then you're going to again, analyze plot, and you're going to assemble a collection of four important items or objects that relate to the story in chapters 10 through 23. So you're going to put, um, put a picture of the important item or object. You can search online for a generic image, copy and paste it into the chart and resize it so it fits nicely. Okay. And then write an explanation of what the item is and why it's considered important to the story. So write two to four complete sentences for each one. Author style, you're going to make sure that you need to quote from chapters 10 through 23. And keep in mind, the style relates to the way that a writer uses words. How does the writer make an effective point? Which aspects of the novel are particularly well crafted and or make the most impact? So you're going to provide three, direct and directly quote three short passages that stood out or caught your attention. Aim for powerful or provocative ideas expressed in just a few sentences. You need to put the chapter and page number where you found the quote. And then for each quote on the left, I offer more explanation of why you chose it. What is so intriguing about it? Then you're going to look at what you put in the chart and answer the following questions. Does your author tend to write with more long descriptive sentences? medium length sentences or short straightforward sentences, or is there a good mix of styles? And then how do these different sentence lengths and styles impact the way you read the story? Think, how do you read when the sentences are longer, medium length or shorter? Then motif, we're bringing it back from semester one, people, all right? A motif, remember, is a reoccurring element that has symbolic value in text. It can be a recurring image, sound, object, figure, action, etc. So, what is a word, object, person, or idea that keeps popping up in this story? And then, why do you think it is important enough to be repeated? What significance do you think it has? What is reinforcing you? What is reinforcing for you, the reader? And then finally, satire. We went over satire in the previous unit. We're going to be going over, this is a satirical novel. So remember that satire is uses humor, irony, or exaggeration to make fun of something in order to bring attention to it and expose it and criticize it. So it often focuses on some kind of social or political situation. So you need to either directly quote or summarize one excerpt that is an example of satire from the story. So this needs to be from chapters 10 through 23. You must provide an accurate in-text citation that uses the author's last name and page numbers where the excerpt is found. And then you need to explain what specifically is the excerpt satirizing. All right, so those that's your explanation for part two. If you have any questions at all, let me know, but I look forward to reading your responses. Thank you so much.